why did you decide to no longer keep your license? You're referencing the auction license, obviously, as opposed to the real estate? Yes, sir. I became quite disenfranchised at some of the trends that I saw, not just in the real estate auction profession, but in the auction <coughs> profession in totality. You use the word disenfranchised. You, would, would, you mean disenfranchised or disillusioned? I'm not sure what disenfranchised means. Disenfranchised means the practice of illegal acts. The paramount of which is shield bidding. S-H-I-L-L bidding, B-I-D-D-I-N-G. You're referring to the practice of shield bidding you thought was being conducted by other people, correct? I don't think I know it. Okay. You have the governing authority and you're being told that the majority don't feel you should hold a license, that, that tends to, to, to burn into your memory, Mr. Bankston. But there was no action by any board to take your license. No, and, and to answer your question uh, more concretely, Mr. Uh, uh, Klein Peter, I don't know why sometimes I don't like asked me outside if I wanted to appeal. I asked him for a cost figure. He said $3,500, uh, and I told him that, that, that I was not going to. So I wanted to cut was my it, losses, was there, was there Was there any, were you telling us there was no harm because of the fact now I'm not gonna have a license so I don't need to go about doing this, or? Nope, I could not justify continuing to shell out, you know, that would've put us up to $8,000, you know, and I'm not going to erase the earnings that I made by fighting a board who is determined to protect practices that are against the law and to go after those who point them out. So that's why I didn't pursue an appeal.